Reports are stating that Antonio Conte has vetoed Emerson Royale move as he wants to find a replacement first. John Terry has come out and said that Harry Kane will never win trophies at Tottenham Hotspur. And reports are stating that 867 homes will be built in the near future near the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. The plots are owned by Tottenham Hotspur. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all keeping well. This is another edition of Tottenham News, where I'll be going through all of the latest Spurs news, rumours and reports. If you don't subscribe to the channel as yet, please do hit that subscribe button, like, share and comment below. And if you're listening to this on an audio platform, please do hit that follow button and leave a review if you can. Let's start with reports published in Italy in the last 24 hours talking about Tottenham Hotspur right wing back Emerson Royale. They are stating that Antonio Conte has vetoed Emerson's departure from Spurs until a replacement arrives at the club first. There is interest from Inter Milan and Atletico Madrid for the Brazilian right back. Reports today from the Daily Mail have stated that Harry Kane has been seen with a strapped and swollen ankle after England's 0-0 draw against USA. Of course, the game took place on Friday evening. On Saturday, the Tottenham Hotspur under-18s were in action playing Crystal Palace under-18s away. Spurs won the game 3-1. Donnelly, Williams and Lancashire getting the Tottenham Hotspur goals. Next up for the Spurs under-18s, Norwich City at home at Hotspur Way on Tuesday, 12 noon kickoff. It has just been confirmed by Tottenham Hotspur Football Club that the FA Youth Cup game against Queen's Park Rangers will take place on Tuesday the 13th of December. The game will take place at the Lamech Stadium, the home of Stevenage Football Club. Now, former Chelsea star John Terry has been talking about Tottenham Hotspur star and England captain Harry Kane. He has said, I think Harry Kane has got ambitions to go and win trophies. He's not going to do that at Tottenham, is he? Let's be honest, he's not. John Terry then went on to say he wants to win trophies. He wants to play for the best and biggest team. Spurs are not that. Spurs are not going to give him what he wants. He wants to finish his career with some trophies. A report has just been published by building.co.uk and they are stating that Tottenham Hotspur Football Club and F3 Architects have had their proposals for an 867 home development on land near the football club's North London Stadium approved an appeal after Harringay Council rejected the scheme last year. F3 scheme would deliver the homes in towers of 32, 29 and 27 storeys, as well as lower rise buildings on land off White Hart Lane to the west of Spurs £1 billion uh, populous designed stadium. The site brings together two plots known as the Goods Yard and the Depot, which already had existing planning consents for up to 650 homes. Both plots are owned by Tottenham Hotspur Football Club. Now, the Tottenham Hotspur women will be in action on Sunday. Our FA Women's Continental League Cup campaign continues with the visit of Coventry United at Brisbane Road on Sunday, 2pm kickoff. We won our first group game 2-1 against Reading in October. We have met Coventry on just two occasions, beating them 5-0 in the FA Cup during the 2019-2020 season and 3-2 in the Continental League Cup in the 2021-2022 campaign. Talking ahead of this game, Tottenham Hotspur women manager Rian Skinner said it's an opportunity to try and get everybody onto the same page. As I said before, the whole squad's really important and it's been difficult at times with the amount of injuries and things that have happened that have stopped us from having players available to us all the time. Now, my thoughts on these stories in this episode. Um, Antonio Conte has vetoed Emerson's departure from Spurs until a replacement arrives. I'll tell you what, this for me, uh, the right wing back situation, this for me is the most important of this January transfer window coming up. I know a lot of journalists are stating that um, a defender, an attacker, a midfielder are really important for this January transfer window. For me, as a Tottenham Hotspur fan who watches the club, uh, you know, home and away, you know, year in, year out. This situation at the moment with uh, 
you know, not having a uh, a decent right wing back in this Antonio Conte system is so vital. It is so important. I have absolutely no doubt. Uh, if you asked Antonio Conte the direct question, what is your biggest weakness um, in your team? It is the right wing back area. And this is an area where we really, really need to address. If Emerson Royale is our best right wing back um, at Tottenham Hotspur Football Club at the moment, I believe that we have a lot of problems. And uh, as I say, this is the key area for me. I'd be very, very disappointed um, if we get to the end of the January transfer window and we haven't bought a right wing back in. And indeed, Emerson Royale um, you know, hasn't gone out the door because that will be disappointing. Um, I don't think that Emerson is going to improve um, a great deal more to, than, than what he has already. Um, I don't think Antonio Conte can get any more out of him. Um, perhaps Antonio Conte has played him in a number of games because he probably sees him as a better defender. Uh, but in this system, you've got to be able to attack. You've got to be able to put a decent cross in. You've got to be able to take a man on and put a cross in. Um, Emerson Royale clearly isn't doing that. Um, I know a lot of people are stating that um, Inter Milan want to offload Denzel Dumfries and we want to offload... Um, Emerson Royale, why not get a straight swap? If only if it was that simple, it would be fantastic. Uh, it would be a great deal. But as I say, um, that right wing back situation, it has to be addressed in the January transfer window because I believe as well that Spurs would score a lot more goals. We would create a lot more opportunities. Um, the team would be far, far better overall um, if we had... Um, a decent right wing back. I know some people are going to probably shout now and say, well, we've got Jed Spence. I don't think Antonio Conte is trusting Jed Spence um, at the moment. I don't think he's going to be trusted this season. I wouldn't be at all surprised personally, and this is just my opinion, I wouldn't be at all surprised if Jed Spence does, it going out, uh, does end up going out on loan in the January transfer window because I just don't think he's going to get the game time that he needs. And of course, people like John Terry are coming out again saying that Harry Kane isn't going to win trophies at Spurs. As I've said on this channel many, many times, hundreds of thousands of times, you know, the disappointment about not winning trophies. Um, of course, it's there. It's there for us fans. It's there for the players, you know, players like Eric Dyer, players like Hun Min Son, Harry Kane, Hugo Lloris. They've been at the club for years, haven't won any trophies. Um under Antonio Conte now, um, as a football club, we've got to back this manager. We have got to um, give Antonio Conte the money that he needs, the tools that he needs in order um, to get this club onto the next level. And that is winning trophies. Of course, we've finished in the top four um, you know, a number of times under a number of different managers. Um, of course, we've been to a Champions League final. We've been to so uh, you know, been close so many times in these semi-finals, in these finals, not quite got over the line. Harry Kane does need trophies. Us fans, we need trophies. But it is all about backing our world-class manager that we have at the moment because he is world-class. And as I say, if you give him the tools, he will deliver. So hopefully, um, you know, Harry Kane's contract ends in the summer of 2024. So hopefully we can put a uh, you know a trophy in the cabinet this season, if not um, next. But um, it is vital that players like Harry Kane and Antonio Conte stay at our football club uh, if we want any chance of winning silverware. Thanks for watching and thanks for listening. If you're watching this on YouTube, please do hit that subscribe button, like, share and comment below. And if you're listening to this on an audio platform, please do hit that follow button and leave a review if you can. Enjoy the rest of your weekend and I'll see you on the next one. Until then, come on you Spurs.